systems modeling analysis is uh, an academic area that is a combination of discrete mathematics, biomathematics, statistics, and operations research. The idea is to use proper modeling and analysis techniques to come up with the best way of describing that system. How do we take all the math and the stuff we learn and apply it in real world and have applications across the board in biology, chemistry, marine science, and all these other cool places. So that, that would be great to learn of how you could take something that everybody uses every day and then be able to understand it better. The actual program itself is really geared towards a lot of applications in research, and it's really broad. It ranges from a lot of biological systems, from neural science to cellular dynamics to dynamics of wound healing. It's important because the world is changing and you can't just be specialized in one thing anymore. There's a very diverse range of, of, of faculty um, that are studying uh, a lot of different things, a lot of different research interests, and I think that students that choose to come here would be able to easily jump on board with something that actually interests them. I always tell students, don't ever do research in something that you're not interested in, right? So actually, find a faculty member that are going to help you thrive and um, choose a research topic that you actually would want to, to do a dissertation in. And I think that we are diverse enough here where uh, we can make that happen. I consider myself really, really lucky that I came from a country that's 8,000 miles away. After I got my degree, I got a job right across the street, which was perfect um, because I loved Richmond. I really didn't want to move. I'm fortunate to be in a career where I truly am able to use the skills that I went to school for. Um, and I am able to every day um, apply all of the things that I've learned um, here at VCU, um, you know, academically um, in my everyday job and be successful at it. Most of your PhD is spent interacting with the students one-on-one -on -one and also um, working with them in a very close way. You're more of in a work situation and you're collaborating and you're meeting with uh, not only your PhD advisor, but other collaborators that are sort of interested in that problem. And uh, the interactions are, are very different, so the personal re relationships are really important. I could just be talking to somebody randomly at VCU and, oh, they work in a different field that I've never even heard of, but it's so interesting. But I can start collaborating with them just because they're on this campus, just because it's so broad and, and everybody's here. So you have the statistician who's analyzing real data that was generated by a student from pharmacy. You have a student from pharmacy who might be analyzing data that came from a student in the School of Business, and it's not necessarily something that they're familiar with, but the statistical tools that they've learned are things that they can apply, and they understand how it can be applied across all the different disciplines. And you've got this observation number 59, that's four. Mathematics is all about solving problems, and it's trying to find solutions, um, maybe sometimes out of the box, and having this ability to talk to different people and get these different perspectives helps you, you know, be a better person and be able to think differently and say, maybe you're just coming at it from one side, but um, you know all these other opinions and other thoughts help you try to say, hey, maybe there's different ways to look at this. And so that's kind of how it helped me. It's become home to me. That's what the program is. Uh, again, with the people and just the environment that I'm in, it's become a lifestyle. You will learn a lot and you will get some amazing skills that will make you very competitive on the job market. And we have a lot of serious faculty that do amazing research that I would say parallels a lot of the top schools in Virginia and throughout the East Coast. We get grants, we publish in high quality journals. So I think that it's, it's a, an amazing opportunity for students um, and actually to be in a, in a city like Richmond as well. It's rare to have all those things together.